Hey, hey folks, and welcome to this week's Q&A. This week's Q&A comes from both White Strength Wellbeing and Miss D. Cool. Thanks, Miss D. Cool and White Strength and Wellbeing for following us on Instagram and asking some awesome questions. Their question is, can you discuss the relevance of different body types and the best nutrition slash diet to suit each type? Well, firstly, I would need to ask a quantifying question to both of you, is what exactly do you mean by different body types? Yes, people do come in all different shapes and sizes, but as it affects nutrition, well, really the way we're gonna look at this is there are people who handle carbs and uh, better, and people who handle, say, fats and protein better. So we look at these as slow oxidizers and uh, fast oxidizers, or, or sometimes referred to as fat types and uh, carb types. Now, in nutrition and say in the biosignature, which I learned many years ago from the great Charles Poliquin, you know, he would do an upper body fat read um, on the subscap, and if you were below eight, you were definitely more of a carb type. Now, I found that advice very, very consistent. And I mean, the, the, the change was that basically the leaner you are, the more carbs you eat. But to say, all right, what are the different body shapes? Now, are you talking about somatotypes? Are you talking about mesomorph, ectomorph, uh, and endomorphs, and, and how to eat around that? Well, yeah, there are gonna be some differences, but I mean, I suppose that the biggest thing, and this may offend some people on YouTube, and if that's you, oh well, but the fatter you are, the less carbs you're gonna be able to tolerate, because that comes down to insulin sensitivity. So the less insulin sensitive you are, the less carbs is gonna be uptake into the muscle. Um, and yeah, you, for, for people who are bigger, then it's probably more advantageous advantageous to start on a low carb approach and certainly as you get leaner and you, as you train harder you're able to increase those carbs and increase the glycogen that gets through to the muscle so you know I think everyone wants to avoid insulin sensitivity and that's not to say obviously if you've got a big strong uh, powerlifter dude who you know lifts some serious weight well that's going to facilitate uh, muscle glycogen to go into the muscle because they're lifting but for the general pop and the general punter out there who isn't doing anything well then yeah they want to start on a more moderate approach with their diet so to answer the question directly is really really hard um, because I need to ask a quantifying question is exactly what do you mean by body types you know thin short I mean it, my advice would be eat for the body type that you want you know if you want to be big and jacked eat to be big and jacked if you want to be super skinny well then you, you're not going to eat all that much if, if you're eating a diet that's going to make you be owing your weight you, that's the result so kind of create the result from the reverse way so eat for the body type that you ideally want and obviously a part of that is train for the body type that you want as well I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a quick one. If you have any other questions for us on the Enterprise Q&A, stay tuned to our YouTube. Ask us the questions on Instagram, on Facebook, wherever it is you can ask us the questions and interact with our stuff and we'll make a video getting back to you. So thanks for your questions today and uh, till next time, train hard, supplement smart and eat well.